Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this. Okay, so what is the point in... So what is it, guys, is the point in having a brand new car that you have to pay off monthly? So you're like in this job there, big job, whatever it is there. And then you're literally paying off this monthly, 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 monthly. There, so you go after two to three years. Then I get rid of the car. Then I get another car there like that. Pay it off a few years. Then get another car like that's like dude, yeah. You're wasting a lot of money. Why can't you just buy a car? Buy the car. Right, so you literally save up all your summer savings. Whatever it is there, right? I think, ha, ah, there's the cash there, like that. Cash in hand to the manufacturer of the car, of the dealership. And then you'd be like, ah, my car now, don't have to worry about paying it off because it don't need to be paid off. It's actually bought. Not like, um, like, um, powered by my company. As in like, okay, my company loan there is, is 40k. Now I just have to pay my company back. Ah, oh, this is all right. It's, like, it's not really because you still, like, basically, you bought the car off the company, but now the company company is taking it money out of your wages there monthly. Do you know what I mean? For this amount of years there like that, and then a couple more years then. Oh, well, it's after five years now. I'm going to actually um, don't need it anymore. But you can't sell that car because because you didn't pay pay all of it off so you have to bring it back to the dealership there like that they'll give you your, your money's worth back there like that and then you get your other a brand new car that you're paying off monthly again so you restart again as it's like that's a waste of cash there that's dead money Think about it right like this as well, right? You go and you're working in a shop, whatever it is, right? And you're renting in a house, right? A room or whatever it is, right? So you're paying this amount of uh, rent there monthly. I'm not talking about you living in your mommy's house now or your family house. Talk about living on your own, right? It's dead money. You rent out a place there for yourself. There, it's dead money. You're renting out, um, two, two thousand euro rent, please. Oh, I have to pay this two thousand euro monthly. Yep, there like that. You go down to the, down into near work or whatever it is there, right? You get this money there. It's dead money, that you're getting because you have to pay the rent, of that, big old big old house. There that you're renting there and then you move into a different house there and then the next house in a different country, different country, different country afterwards that there's like it's the exact same thing of paying off a car. Do you know what I mean? It's a dead money. If you can just buy a car, right? And then you save up from just say through college, summertime, there through hard apprenticeships there, you saved up your ass dare to save through and then you're like oh my god i bought my dream car you've seen it on youtube as well actually i bought my true fabulous dream car that i always wanted so this could be just say a lamborghini range rover land rover mercedes benz right or a nice van for yourself or a nice bike or something there right that you couldn't afford and then literally then you have the cash in your bank account got it there 30 G's or 40 G's for this there. Forget about, oh my God, I've got a brand new car now. It's have to pay it off, guys. Those people there, right, literally pay paid it off there because they know exactly the right thing to do is save up, buy the car, and then be done with it. No need for this crap there as in like, Oh, I just um, buy this car every single year. Like, buy brand new cars every single year. 
paid off halfway through, then fuck it in the bin, then get another car then for two to three years, then throw that in the bin, then rent it out again and again and again. Because you're literally paying it off. No point paying, paying things off. Better off buying it flat out. And I'm not talking about houses. Houses is different. You know how much houses is worth? Half a million to 400,000 to 300,000 cash. Do you know what I mean? It's a, no one has that kind of money. Do you know what I mean? Unless you have some big old rich mum and dad that you have. That's different. But like over like. I was going to say overall. But anyway. Overall like. This is all about buying cars. Literally. Buying a house is different right. You try. Try and buy a house. Anywhere right. You can't. Because no one has that type of cash there houses won't even be built if people can't afford them do you know what I mean houses won't be even be built if people can't afford them if they can afford them then of course to be houses um all over the place there because you can rent a house there for yourself you can literally you put a mortgage on it there like that so technically houses you're actually very, very lucky to have a house to rent for yourself and everything there. But when it comes to cars though, because cars are cheaper than a house, obviously. But like, I'm just saying that why pay a monthly bill of a car there when you can just save up, save up and buy your dream car there like that. You've seen on, on YouTube uh, videos there of... um. Famous people buying a brand new car by cash, not a loan, just cash in hand. There you go there, thank you very much. Oh, beautiful car. Magnificent. Thanks very much, please subscribe.